The first of Edinburgh's trams came off the production lines in Spain towards the end of last year. Since then, two of them have been taken to a special testing centre run by Siemens at Wildenrath in western Germany. For both CAF, the manufacturers, and for TIE itself, this is a crucial phase. It's imperative to us that when the trams start operating and members of the public are travelling on the trams, they can trust the trams that they'll be reliable. And uh, the best way of doing that is to test them as much as we can ahead of actually opening to the public. We have to test two uh, units uh, dynamically, that's why we have come to Wildenrath. Uh, we have been uh, accompanied by our uh, customer most of the testing because they want to be sure that we perform the tests uh, according to not only to our standards but what uh, they expect from us. One of the trams has been loaded with weights to simulate what would happen when a large crowd left St. Murrayfield. What you have seen in the second unit is a tram fully loaded, uh, simulating the weight of uh, a tram being uh, absolutely full of pe uh, people. For example, after a match uh, when Scotland uh, wins against uh, England and everybody will enter into the first tram to go to the city centre. We start with static tests at the factory, but for example, uh, we are not satisfied at the present moment with uh, the ventilation uh, results, the integration of the ventilation system into the tram. And we are working and that's why you could see some uh, green wires around you. It's because we have sensors, temperature sensors, in order to get the right comfort for the passengers in all the range, the temperatures have to be tested. Both companies agree that the process so far has been demanding, but ultimately satisfying. They've worked with us in configuring the, the tram, their, their product, to actually delivering something that's bespoke for Edinburgh and special, tailored to what we, what we need. We've got plenty of luggage space adapted because we're travelling in from the airport, bringing people in with the luggage suitcases right into the heart of the city, and uh, that's essential. CAF have, through and through, worked with us to develop this tram and are see it as a flagship project for them and for the city of Edinburgh. Thankfully at each step we were able to uh, convince that, uh, them that uh, our standards are what they expect. They have been very demanding and they are now here in Vinarad with us. They want to be sure that the tram will give what has been agreed with them. And they're now looking forward to the next stage where tests will start in Edinburgh itself. It's one thing testing the trams on a test track with the excellent facilities we have here, um, but I just can't wait for people's reaction when they actually start to, to see the trams running in Edinburgh. And the section between the depot, Goga, and the airport gives us an ideal location to test both the trams, get some experience with them, and actually start training our drivers uh, and familiarising the staff on that section off, off street and giving people a, a glimpse of, of what's going to happen when the, the trams are actually running on the whole line. For the city, the tram project is key to achieving its targets for transformation in the coming decades. It's absolutely critical to have the, the tram de delivered um, for the, the benefit of, of Edinburgh, especially with regard to the economic vitality of the, of the city, to move people about uh, an awful lot more uh, efficiently than is currently happening at the, at the present time. Bring in intelligent transport systems and bring in new dynamic traffic management. By dynamic traffic management, I mean actually look at how many people are travelling either on the tram or on the bus. So it's not just the, the, the metal work that's getting priority, but it's more the, the people with inside that metal box that's going to be given priority. And that's what we'll be working towards in the, in the coming year to make Edinburgh one of the, the greenest, safest and healthiest cities in all of Europe. He's planning not just one line, but several, all part of an integrated transport structure for the future.